welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming one of my favorite videos to film. It is the Will I Bite videos. This series was started by Smith March and I will link her video down below as well as the community playlist. I feel like I link, I don't know what I'm doing. If I don't have it linked, I'll try and remember to do that. Um, but there's a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. And as always, I do use Trend Mood for my makeup news. So yeah, hope you guys are excited. So the first thing I'm seeing, there's so many 420 releases, guys. I don't really get why the makeup community has such a deep, passionate love for marijuana, but I'm not here to judge, but there's a lot of products that have this whole cannabis theme to it, and it's very interesting. I haven't really done any research, so if you guys want to educate me on the wonderful uses of marijuana, you sure can, but it looks like um, Beautylish has created the Cannabis Brush Collection, and I actually did get an um, email from them announcing the launch of this brush collection. And it's basically just regular brushes, but they have acrylic handles, and it looks like little glitters that are suspended in the acrylic handles um, that are in the shape of marijuana leaves. And there's five brushes, and it's $42, and it'll launch tomorrow, which is gonna be today when you're seeing this video at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Beautylish, if you guys are interested in that and looks like sugar pill is coming out with their very first sparkling lip gloss with color stain and these two shades are going to be 18 dollars each and they are limited edition i honestly have no interest in purchasing lip glosses especially not for 18 dollars from sugar pill i'm still waiting to see if they'll ever launch those eyeshadows they sneak peeked at the end of last year, I think. I'm I'm still waiting for those to come out and it's been like half a, like a, we're a quarter of the way into the year 2019. So still waiting on those, but I did pull out my Sugar Pill palette, my Pro palette and play with it this week. And I was honestly very disappointed. If you guys don't know, I do own a Sugar Pill palette, paid like an arm and a leg for it. And I'm just not a fan <laughs> of the product. I feel like I really just kind of conned myself and bought this huge palette and yeah, anyway, not a huge fan of super sugar pills, so <laughs> whatever. BH Cosmetics launched some new eye pencils. There are 10 shades and these are $6.50 each right now, but they will go up in price to $8. They usually always do a lower price when they launch a product. And honestly, I've been on such a huge colorful eyeliner kick lately. I've been really buying a lot of the ColourPop ones and stuff like that. The only thing with these with this collection is none of these shades are like shades where I was like, whoa, I don't have anything like that. They're pretty basic shades, so I'm really not interested in picking any of those up. Another exciting thing that launched today is the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Gasm Collection, and they came out with two palettes, Light Gasm and Love Gasm, for $75 each, and then some highlighters, some liquid highlighters, also for $35 each. I have a feeling these products are probably very, very beautiful, but I just couldn't bring myself to spend $75 on some highlighters, so I'm going to be passing on that. Also, I might wait until the VIB sale rolls around and maybe pick those up then because I just don't want to spend the money on it. Okay, and then on Friday this week, Jeffree Star Cosmetics will be launching his Magic Star Concealer and his Magic Star Setting Powder. I feel like I maybe talked about this in one of my last Will I Bite videos, but I just thought I'd talk about it again. I think I'm going to skip on this right now because I just don't really need any more setting powders at the moment or any concealers. I do like all of the custom packaging. I think it's very, very cool. Um, but I think this is something I'm going to have to wait on reviews for. So just so you guys know, this launch is April 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Looks like it'll launch on Jeffree Star Cosmetics website, Beautylish, as well as Morphe online and in stores. So in case they have another site crash, 
you guys can get them um, through those other retailers as well. Okay, Estee Lauder came out with some new stuff for their bronze goddess collection. There was a bronze goddess desert heat eyeshadow palette for $55 and some new bronzers, but those, it doesn't seem like those are out yet. The eyeshadow palette I think is very beautiful and eye-catching. Definitely not something I need in my collection, but I do think they're gorgeous. And the bronzers are giving me like Guerlain vibes, like the packaging and stuff. I would be really curious to try a bronzer only because I love bronzers so, so much, but I won't be, I mean, I'm not going to buy it and it's not even out yet anyway, so. This is so cute. I really, 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 really want to buy this. ColourPop is doing matching packaging now for their eyeliners. So here is the Festival Collection eyeliners. I picked this up. These launched, I think, was it last week or two weeks ago, and they are changing the packaging so the entire packaging matches the color on the inside and I think that's so so cute and so they are doing a a pack of eyeliners so cute for $89 but I feel like I have most of those colors so I don't feel like spending $89 on them and then they're also doing some cream gel liners I've never tried their cream gel liners um, but their eyeliners are pretty good for $6. I won't complain and they do have a lot of fun colors. So if you are into colorful eyeliners like I am right now, you might want to check those out because they launch tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So today, if you're watching this on the 18th. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is this. I thought this was kind of hilarious, but they're sneak peeking Bieber Beauty. And this is Hailey Bieber, who is Justin Bieber's new wife. And it looks like she's maybe teasing that she might be coming out with a, some kind of makeup or skincare line. And I don't know. I feel like I've seen a lot of her pictures and stuff and she definitely seems like the kind of girl that's like very into the no makeup makeup vibes so I don't know I feel like this is definitely one of those where it's like she's got so many fans that no matter what she comes out with it'll probably sell because she has a lot of fans um, but that's my you know alleged speculation so we'll see we'll see what she comes out with so, I had no idea about this brand. I feel like I've maybe heard of Midas Cosmetics, uh, but not a whole lot. But I, I think um, some of my YouTube friends had posted videos on this particular palette. It's called the High Times Eyeshadow Palette. It includes eight creamy pigmented mattes and five stunning shimmers. I almost want to buy this because it's $20, and that seems like such a good price point. But... I recently filmed my entire eyeshadow palette collection. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up in the cards and on the end screen. And I just have so many palettes that I have never played with in my collection that I'm going to try and be more selective about what I buy. But yeah, I just thought it was interesting that they had such a good price point and I really should probably watch some of the reviews just to see what people thought of it. Okay, so next thing... They announced the round two of Moschino X Sephora. Honestly, I never, never, never thought that there would be a round two. I have the eyeshadow palette from round one back there. And I also bought the brushes and like a little compact because my husband loves bears and I love designer goods. And it was just, and makeup, and it was a whole like perfect thing. So for round two, they're coming out with a pa like an office themed collection. So they're doing a laptop palette, and it's a 30 pan eyeshadow palette for $60. They're doing a pencil brush set, which is so cute. I kind of want to buy that just so I have like round one's brush set and round two's brush set because the eyeshadow palette honestly looks like a pass for me. The eraser sponges for 20 bucks are so cute. And the highlighter sticks are also really cute. They look like highlighter pens. And they have a liquid polish, which is a white nail polish for $12. And some, let's see here, they also have um, liquid lipsticks called liquid markers that look like markers. They have a honey mask, which is the bear. And then a marker eyeliner, so basically a black liquid eyeliner for $18. 
and all of this will launch on April 25th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So very, very exciting stuff from Sephora. I think a lot of people will be really excited for that collection. I do hope they do a better job of launching it than they did the original collection because that one was a mess. That launch was a mess. I even uh, like posted about it on my community tab saying how I remember it like launched at night and sold out like immediately and throughout the day they were like restocking it and I feel like I remember even maybe being at work trying to buy the stamp palette and it would go out of stock so yeah I feel like Sephora did not do a good job of handling that and it was just an interesting makeup memory I suppose. So Urban Decay did finally launch their Game of Thrones palette and honestly I was so tempted to buy this on April 14th when it launched but I decided to wait until it comes to Sephora and Macy's and Ulta only because that way if I don't like the quality I can return the product or if I do like it I can always use my points or something like that you know I just want to be able to either see it in person or if I'm buying it and I don't love it I can then get my money back to be very honest because it is a very pricey palette and yeah $65 and that's really the only thing I really want is the eyeshadow palette and I would love to get the eyeliners as well but Urban Decay has some really pricey eyeliners and I'm honestly not sure if they're worth the price tag because I don't know if they'll show up on my skin tone so yeah I'm kind of hesitating to buy that but it is interesting that um, they launched and I believe that I should have had it sold out so good for them I guess so Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out with a summer shimmer body oil I feel like that's like the new hype product is a shimmer product and honestly I do love a good body glitter I'm not gonna lie but I definitely have like cheaper alternates than buying it from a place like Sephora or buying it from a brand like Anastasia or Patrick Ta who recently came out with one Fenty has all these body glows NARS has always had a very expensive body oil just seems overpriced so I'm passing on that and then um, Trenmu did post more pictures of the Mac and Aladdin collection and honestly this packaging is just like killing me it looks like they're doing a highlighter as well as a bronzer and I'm just like here for it it launches on May 16th and if I can I definitely want to try and get my hands on the bronzer as well as a highlighter because sometimes that packaging is just fun to have and I don't know I think it'll be fun okay and then Sephora has revealed the dates for their sale so the Sephora VIB spring event starts on April 26th for Rouge and that ends on May 6th and they're actually doing 20% off. I usually thought in the spring it was 15, so that's nice and that'll be Hey Rouge is the code. And then from May 2nd to May 6th, 15% off. And then for Insiders, May 2nd through May 6th, they get 10% off. So I'm really excited because I'm VIB Rouge, of course, because I have to do the most. And there are a few things I want to pick up and I will definitely have a little wish list video go up for you guys if you're interested in seeing that. And then, okay, I did actually, this was so funny because I've never, never, never wanted the ColourPop Loose Pigments. But then they came out with three like brighter shades this last week. And so I decided to try them out and I bought a few other things too, just kind of stragglers. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get those. They came out with 12 new loose pigments, $6 each, and a lot of the first couple of shades are very, like, neutral shades, but I was really attracted to the pink and the peach and the yellow, so I'm excited for when they get here to see what it'll look like in person. Okay, so it looks like Wet n Wild is coming out with a new collection. It's already out in stores. I didn't think it was released in... Um, on their website yet, but it's called the Crystal C Covern, Covern Collection. Um, and there's some highlighters, eyeshadow trios, um, perfume roller, brightening rocks, which is a brightening powder made up of diffused pearls. It all sounds really interesting. The packaging is cool. 
I don't think I would want to buy this. I bought the, some of the items from the last collection that Wet n Wild did and honestly I didn't even end up really using them. So I think it'll be better for my wallet if I just avoid that. Now talking about something I did already pre-order, I'm such a child. Um, for some reason, the pizza palette didn't really appeal to me, but when I saw these four bright green shades in the Glam Light Burger palette, I was here for it. And I actually used to own the Glam Light Masterpiece palette, and it was a really good formula. I thought they did a really good job for an indie brand. And even though I haven't really wanted to purchase anything from them recently, after I saw the burger palette, I was like, you know what? I can give them a chance. Plus, I think the palette was pre-order and it was $40 and they have afterpay on their website. So I felt pretty comfortable being able to pay $10 every two weeks on that palette. So I'm pretty pumped to receive that. And I just think the shades are right up my alley and it'll be fun it'll be something different for me to showcase on my channel i think so the next thing sephora collection came out with some lash stories so i think last year they did these things called lip stories and now they're doing lash stories and they're eight dollars each which i think is pretty affordable and there are six different kinds and i'm not really a wear lashes every day kind of person so i really can't speak to this too much but I'm sure there's people out there that are really excited for the product. Um, and uh, I think that's pretty cool. So Jouer finally launched their Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. This is full of hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. Um, and they're $30 a piece and has six shades. I think now that this is at Sephora, I'm really curious to try it. So I definitely will be picking one of those up during the VIB sale. And Natasha Denona came out with a new mini bronze and glow as well as some diamond and blush um, palettes. And I actually have one of these, one of the first ones that came out and I don't think it's that good of a formula. And so I'm going to be staying away from that particular collection. And then NARS launched its orgasm collection. They've been teasing this for quite some time. I think the standout piece in this collection is the big palette that has the cream highlighters in it. But honestly, I think all the reviews I've seen on it have not been very positive. So I do not feel the need to pick any of those up from that collection. And I used to be an orgasm fan, but Really, I don't care anymore. <laughs> okay, Lancome is sneak peeking this Monsieur Big Maxi palette. It, it literally sounds like maxi pad. Like, why? Um, I think this is a cute idea. It looks a lot like the old Too Faced blushes that used to be heart-shaped. I've never tried a Lancome eyeshadow formula, and this really isn't making me want to either. I feel like if they had saved this for Valentine's Day, it might have done a little bit better because I feel like it's just like such a cute idea for Valentine's, but it's like the middle of April. Like nobody's trying to buy heart-shaped eyeshadow palettes. This is the new Tarte collab with Adelaide, Adelaide Morin, and I actually saw some of my favorite YouTubers talking about this palette, which I feel like Tarte has definitely been you know, delivering more hits than misses so far. The last couple of months, usually they're not really well known for doing good stuff, but their Icy Betch palette, I think, was received better than most of us thought, and now this collab, too, I've heard a lot of positive reviews. So I'm excited for Tarte to, uh, you know, be making a comeback, and I was so close to buying this palette with my 20% off coupon from Ulta, but I really decided that I have so many palettes with this color story that I'm not going to buy it, so I didn't buy it. But I think it's really cute and I love lemons and like the yellow and it's just so, so cute and very summery. Um, I thought this was a funny launch. Laura Lee Los Angeles launched 20 new single eyeshadows and a magnetic palette. The palette is $12 and the shadows are $6 each. I don't know, these shadows... I just can't imagine somebody that isn't like a full-blown beauty enthusiast buying single shadows. I think that would be a very intimidating experience for somebody that's not really hugely into YouTube and beauty. Um, so it makes me wonder who's buying these, but uh, 
yeah, I, did, I, don't, I don't really support Laura Lee. She, I used to watch her back in the day when she first started and I feel like she's grown so much that I just cannot relate to her. She's just very different and I don't really enjoy her content anymore to be very honest. Julia's Place is sneak peeking their foundation, velvet matte and a concealer it looks like and I don't know when this is gonna come out. Sometimes things come out really quick when Juvia's Place like sneak peeks it and sometimes it doesn't. Um, but I'm excited. It looks like it's gonna be like full coverage. That would be my assumption for it, but we'll have to wait and see what they end up doing. BH Cosmetics launched a summer loving palette. I heard a lot of people talking about this palette. I was very surprised. It includes 16 shades and a mix of lush corals, bronzy neutrals, and rich, rich plum hues in matte and shimmer finishers for $12. That's a really awesome price tag. I personally am up to my eyeballs in BH Cosmetics palettes, so I'm passing on that. Okay guys, that is everything for this Will I Buy video. I'm gonna try and make this a more consistent series on my channel, so I wanna try and film them every other week. So like every Monday, but every other week because I don't feel like there's enough releases for me to do like a weekly video and I feel like there are so many other channels doing it weekly so I'm just gonna try and do it every other week and see how that goes but I just want to say thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one and also really quick because I just remembered if there are any particular launches you want me to talk about I know you guys follow me on Instagram please tag me because I can definitely talk about them then on this video and on this channel so yeah, thanks guys, have a good day, bye!